Hello again everyone, and welcome to another Mon May tutorial. In part 2 of this visual editor tutorial, we will be going over how to make and edit moves in the visual editor, how to add moves to monster move pools, and how to modify monster stats. Let's jump right into it. Back in the visual editor, if we click on the moves submenu next to the monster submenu, we can see every single move in the game on this list. We can edit any of these moves as we wish as well by simply entering the move. And here you see the name, description, sprite, animation type, every single thing about this move and it can all be edited. The main thing we can do here is actually create new moves from scratch. You can click this add button and you'll see a new move in the move list. We can then enter this and we can do anything we want to it. We'll give it a name. For this example, we're going to create a move called Lightning Jolt. We're going to give it a description. The description will be, mm, let's say something like a jolt of lightning, just like the name. If you make a mistake, in this case I wrote a jolly of lightning, you can just simply enter it again and type the correct description. Next we'll choose a sprite. Mon may include several sprites that you could use already, and in part 3 of this tutorial we will see how we can add our own animations. For this one we're just going to use one of the ice scythe ones, which is somewhere on the bottom right of this list. You can simply click the animation and it'll show up on the move list. Of course whatever animation you want is up to you. Next up we have the animation type but for the moment only type 0 works. The other three are planned to be included later on in development. You can set the move power, the move healing if the move heals, the accuracy, the element, in this case since it's a jolt of lightning we want electric. The type will be magical and then we can set its uses. I want a little more than 35. We'll set it at 45. We can set the priority of the move from a range of negative 4 to plus 4 and higher priority will go first of course. We can set the status chance from 0 to 100% chance of inflicting a status effect. The status, which is the status effect we'll be applying at that status chance, in this case paralyze. And then we can add a flinch chance if we want to. And the flinch chance is also from a range of 0 to 100. Then we can add a flinch which is either true or false, a high crit, and then we get to the stat chance. Now, the stat chance is from 0 to 100, and this is what will decide whether your monster or the enemy monster suffers from any stat changes due to this move, such as your monster gaining increased attack, defense, M defense, speed, evasion, or accuracy, or the enemy monsters suffering a decrease in their attack, their speed, their evasion, their accuracy, etc. The max you can increase or decrease stat changes is up to stage 6. Here we're going to use up to stage 2. Next we'll look at protect, which is true or false. Whether this move is first turn only, true or false whether it requires a recharge, whether it causes a one-hit KO, has a recoil, and if it does, what amount of recoil. Here 100% means your monster dies. Of course we don't want to be so extreme so we'll leave it at 20%. Then you can save your changes and you now have your own move called Lightning Jolt. Back in the monster submenu, Let's say that we want to add this lightning jolt to Donatello, which is the monster we created in part 1 of this tutorial. If we go to the move pools inside Donatello, we can see the list of moves that we have for this monster. 
Here we have Lightning Jolt at level 30. We can change it by entering it and selecting any other skill on this list. We can then type in what level we want to learn this skill at. Here we set it at 27. But if we also wanted to add Lightning Jolt from scratch, we can click the Add button and we'll get a default clobber skill here, which we can then enter and then go down the list and look for Lightning Jolt to modify. Here it is at the very end of this list. We select it and we type in the level we want to learn it at, which here we'll set at 35. Now Lightning Jolt will be learned at level 35 for Donatello. Remember, you can add as many skills as you want to your monsters, or delete skills if you feel you need to do so. The last thing we want to look at is monster stats. If we go into Donatello again and go into base stats, here we can enter the stats we want the monster to have, up to a total sum of stats. Let's say we want this monster to have 100 health. Well, we'll press enter here and enter 100. Next, we can set the attack at, say, 50. We can set any of the other stats on this list. And then finally at the bottom is the capture rate, which is the rate at which you can catch this monster. And then lastly, if we click on random, this will randomize all our stats up to the total sum of the stats for this current monster. Play around with this and see what you can come up with. And that's it for this one. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again in part 3 of this visual editor tutorial.